Hi guys! This is the third time that I filmed this video and it's a pretty hardcore video. It's not hardcore, I, I am overreacting, but it's a pretty important video for me because it's a video that I have been avoiding for the past five years, six years. So I've been wanting to talk about this subject for a while, but I haven't because of the reasons. But I was going through my comments on my channel. I think it was the last video actually. Um, this week I was actually going to talk about my color palette and how do I choose my colors. It was going to be a super nice, relaxed, chill video. But then, but then I saw this comment and I'm hope I hope I am saying this right, but K.R. Sexton, she said, Hi, Fran. Wonderful video as always. Thank you, dear. I hope you post more Instagram stories. Seeing your always makes me happy. Thank you. So I have a question for you, but I know you're a busy lady. Yesterday, I was victim of an art thief theft. A small shop stole my illustrations and were using them to sell merchandise. She has deleted the post, but I'm still so heartbroken about it. In a future blog post or a YouTube video, could you make me talk, maybe talk about your thoughts on projecting your artwork, watermark versus no watermark, copywriting, etc. I don't believe I have seen you talk about this before, but maybe I am missing it. Keep up the beautiful work. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Um, so, I can't talk about Art Thief or when big shops and small shops rip our work off without talking about copycats and copying on the internet. And as you guys know, I've been wanting to talk about this subject for a while now, but there has been many reasons why I haven't. First of all, I'm looking at my notes. First of all, it's really hard to talk about this without offending people because there's many, many artists and creators who have a different opinion about this subject and how to deal with this subject and how to deal with copycats and copying and young artists emulating other artists' work uh, to practice with very good heart intentions. And I feel like all artists have a different way to approach this. So. I don't want and I don't like to offend people on a regular basis. <laughs> so I haven't done this video because I don't want to offend anybody. But the truth is, make this video or not, I am offending people without me wanting to anyway. So I am posting this video now because I am ready for the thumbs down rain all over my face and my channel. Number two, I have never felt prepared to talk about this subject because as you guys know, there's many approaches and ways or how to talk about this subject. And I feel like I don't know anything about this. Of course, I know how I feel maybe about this whole thing, but I am not an expert. So throughout this whole video, I am going to quote um, really talented and uh, successful entrepreneurs who knows better than me on how to talk about this subject. So I hope that's okay with you guys. And third, I wrote, I still don't know how I feel about this because this is a very complex subject, guys, and it depends from case to case. Um, there's obvious there's obviously reasons where you look at the case of like a huge multi-millionaire company like Sarah ripping off some artists and you say like this is definitely wrong but when it when is a young artist like a 13 year old girl uh, emulating your style because she wants to learn or how to illustrate of course that is not bad per se you know I'm going to talk more about this but of course this is our, these are the main reasons why I haven't talked about this until today. Every single day, or at least once or twice a month, maybe every single day, I see other artists and creatives being super violent and um, hardcore angry with other young artists or artists in general who are copying or emulating styles. And 
People get super territorial and violent on Twitter and social media in general when this happens. Like, you should be ashamed of yourself and this is not something you're supposed to do, blah, blah, blah. And people get really offended and mad and sad and embarrassed and shameful. And I can seem to empathize with those comments because I feel like as artists, we all have been copied once at least, but we also have copied in the past. Um, we copy um, food recipes to make them our own. We, make, we copy hairstyles or haircuts. We copy fashion style. We copy blog templates and Radiohead songs to make them covers. So we're basically copying something every single day without noticing. So of course I can emphasize with people who are pointing the finger to people who are copying because we all do. Um, it's very odd that we create something new from scratch. And I feel, I feel I read this before in a, like a graphic design manifesto that there's no new things. We're just remixing all things in a new way, but we're basically working with things that are already existing. I, I can also empathize with people that are violent towards young artists, emulating other artists' style um, in, uh, because they're trying to learn. Uh, so if we're calling copycats those people, I have been a copycat myself. When I was 16, I was copying Sailor Moon and Carcaptor Sakura like crazy. I was um, basically copying all the drawings for the mangas because I wanted to learn manga so bad. And since I couldn't afford for classes or like any workshop, I was trying to learn by myself. And I felt like the only way of learning how to draw manga was to copying um, and using like the window and started like tracing the already existing drawings. And I did, I did that for years before I learned how to draw manga and it was the best way I could ever possibly have learned how to draw manga. Also, story time. When I started my illustration adventure, trying to figure out my style and how to uh, find my illustration style, I was looking for young female illustrators in the graphic novel comic illustration scene and back then guys so social media wasn't even a thing I, I am talking like 2005 2006 maybe 2007 uh, but Flickr was the thing Flickr was huge and I realized there was this amazing female community of illustrators and I, I was um, admiring them as shit they were so so cool my good friend Anke Beckman was uh, like one of the queens back then and also Gemma Corel and Lucy Kingsley she also had her own blog where uh, I think Gemma and Lucy were uploading every single day um, like blog entry journal entries like talking about what they were doing and what they were eating and the people they were meeting you know what I mean so I thought to myself oh my god this is the perfect opportunity for me to practice my illustration style because I needed an excuse to draw and upload something every single day to my blog because I, I knew that the only way I could find my illustration style was to practice every single day. So I started uploading one illustration every single day, even weekends for years. And since I needed like a subject, I realized that as many other artists in the past, from Van Gogh to uh, Da Vinci, I started my own journaling. And it was a great experience. And my blog suddenly got like huge attention and visitors and it was amazing. But with those visitors, of course, many, many people start to pointing the finger at me, saying that I was copying Gemma and Lucy, that I should be ashamed of myself because I was copying their style and the way they were approaching illustration. And honestly, guys, it made me feel so sad. I felt terrible about that whole thing. Those comments were made towards me changing my illustration style they didn't help at all. I didn't change my illustration style. I didn't stop posting pictures every single day. So the main goal of those comments was not fulfilled. 
uh, the only thing that those comments make me feel was feeling sad about myself and feel shameful about myself and I felt I was doing I wasn't doing a bad thing per se I was just trying to learn because there was nothing constructive or nice about that criticism I still don't know how I feel about these guys because when I see creators today pointing at the finger pointing the finger to other young creators I still think about me on those days and my heart tells me that calling out people and make them make them feel shameful about themselves or like they're doing something super wrong and make them feel bad it's not okay like the wise jessica hirsch once said if you wanted to become a great guitar player you wouldn't buy a fancy guitar and immediately start composing songs you will pick up a songbook or look up some tailored music on the internet and teach yourself how to play using other people's music. You would emulate the greats and learn from them as they learned from others in the past. You will spend hours alone trying to be like Jimi Hendrix or Jimmy Page or whoever you really admired. Then, once you were well practiced and felt confident in your abilities to play, you will form a band, you will write your own songs and you will find your own voice. So is there something we can do to avoid being copied? No. I think it was Casey Neistat who once said, if we're being copied, it's because we're doing something right. And Paul Jarvis said the same thing about copycats on his last newsletter. He said, you can't prevent others from copying or stealing your ideas. Well, you can, but that means never sharing those ideas with anyone else, never publishing anything, and never putting any work whatsoever out into the world. The act of sharing your work, your ideas, your thoughts, your expertise, inherently opens you up to being copied. If even one other person reads or watches or consumes what you have made, there's a possibility that your work will be ripped off. So when is it bad then? Number one. Jessica Hirsch said something really, really wise about this. When you're learning, it's not wrong to copy people, to learn from them the way that they learn from others before them. What many young artists have the problem realizing though, is that the work you create while practicing and learning is completely separate of what you do professionally. Just because you can play OK Computer cover to cover doesn't mean you should record an album of your renditions and release them under your name, not making any reference to the original. You know that any such action will leave you up to your eyeballs in legal problems. Copy all you wish in private, and once you feel confident in your skills, create your own original work. Number two, it's also bad when a uh, really really small or really really big multi-millionaire company is using your illustrations or work without your permission and selling them. I don't know if you guys noticed but a couple of weeks ago Sarah ripped off a couple of illustrators and creators uh, for Edamel pens. It was huge on the internet and they're still trying to make the campaign work and last year Forever 21 also ripped off Sam Lars illustration for a t-shirt so it's happening more and more and more often. So what can we do about it? When you know a big or small or medium company is selling stuff based on stole illustrations, stop buying them and spread the word. If we're talking on small and medium companies, try to talk to them first. And what I mean with this, and I know it sounds super, super stupid, guys, and you're going to say like, Fran, no again, but sometimes companies don't know they can do that. I am basically talking about small companies. Guys, if you knew the amount of Etsy shops I have seen selling Pusheen stickers, of course, fake Pusheen stickers, or like Pokemon pins, or Adventure Time notebooks, you will be surprised. And it's still happening every time I go to a like illustration fair or like illustration market. There's people selling those things legally i mean it's illegal but they're doing it without any repercussions because sometimes people don't 
comprehend that they can do that. So please talk to them, like saying what you're doing is wrong. This is a very good example, but I don't know if you guys know, but I am a huge fan of card character Sakura. I have been always in love of the illustrations and the manga. And this year, Clamp, the creators of Cardcaptor Sakura, released a new manga. And I know the manga is out there. I know the manga is on the internet, translated in English, and a lot of people is downloading the fake illegal PDF to read the, th the whole thing. There's tons of Facebook groups sharing the content. And even though I am dying to get my hands on that, on that PDF, I am going to wait until they release the physical book in English for sale because I want to support Clamp. They have been giving me so much joy and happiness in my life that I would rather wait and support them than read a fake PDF and not giving me giving them my money because they totally deserve it. So wrapping this whole subject up, what are my thoughts or what have we learned about this? I feel like copying because you want to practice or emulating others other illustrators style because you want to practice and keep the juices flowing in terms of illustration is okay but if you do it privately you don't have to share everything you do on social media but if you're dying if you're dying and it's very urgently you have to share this on social media by the way you don't have to but if you have to please tag the artist and say that you're practicing with their style I think there's some, there's nothing wrong. We all did it once, but please tag the artists and give them credit because of their work. Two, stop giving your money to big multi-million companies and medium-sized companies and even small-sized companies who are stealing other artists' work in selling them. Twitter campaigns and sending emails is amazing, but the only way of truly hurting them is to stop giving them your money. And three, Almost all the artists and TV shows and musicians and writers you know and admire, they probably have an online store. You can support them directly by buying from their stores. And for example, sometimes they have a Patreon account or the, a crowdfunding or an online shop or a physical store. So please ask the artists you admire how you can support them directly. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoy this very uncomfortable and serious subject. I hope we can keep this conversation going on the comment section below because I know there's tons of people who have a different approach on this subject and I would love to know your thoughts about this. Um, it's hard to talk about this subject without anyone getting offended. It wasn't my intention to offend you in any way. I'm just trying to do my best to uh, gather all the information I can to talk about this. Thank you so so much to all my Patreons because they are the ones who are allowing me to film this video today and to buy awesome art supplies which I enjoy a lot. So I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you next week. Bye bye guys!